how to on the Rockwell. This is a manual Rockwell uh, tester, and it's nice to show you that how those work. Yes, they're old fashioned, but yes, a lot of companies still use them. When I joined IBM, I thought, oh, here I am in a big high tech company, and this is exactly the type of machine we had in our lab. So I learned how to use it. Now, the video on the electric rock, well, we did a flat specimen. Now I want to show you how to do a round specimen. So I'm going to test this piece of 316 steel for hardness. And I'm going to use my C scale. And just like the other tester, it tells me what the deal is. The C uses a braille, has a 150 kilogram load, and I use the black dial. So if you come up here, you'll see I have both a black and a red set of numbers. And it tells me for the C test, I need to be using the black numbers. Now, how do you set the load on this manual machine? A little different than uh, the electric. First, let me mount the braille. There we go, I've got that in. And behind you here, you can see the weights. And let me take one off and show you. And what you do is for 150, we put all three weights on. If we need just 100, we take off this top one. And you can see it says 100 up here. If I only need 60, I take off the, six, take off the second one and it says 60. So you can see, I can. this is a little bit different, unlike the other where we dialed it in. Here, we stack the weights. But that isn't too difficult. And there's a flat on these weights so you know that that faces the machine. We're using now a set for the round. We have a couple of them that you can see. We also have some very small ones for severe, like wire samples. So we have a lot of different bases, and you use one that fits. I'll put that one in, carefully put in my specimen. Notice you're not trying to bang the braille up. That, that doesn't do anybody any good. Now, the manual tester is a little harder to use because you still have to set the preload and the load, but it's done using this dial here that my fingers are on and then the trigger switch here, which you may not realize is a switch. So we start by rocking for the preload, bring the sample up, and we're gonna be using this small dial on the left, and the goal is to put that dial into the black dot. That's the preload. So you see a little bit different than the than the electric. A little harder to do, but not by much. So we spin that black little dial into the center, like that. The large dial can be zeroed now, and anywhere in this color range as long as the big needle ends anywhere in this colored range, it is acceptable. So this is perfectly acceptable. So my preload is set. I've zeroed my dial, my trigger here. And I simply press the button, the lever, and I wait. And this is a piece of tool steel and no surprise. 70, 1, 2, 3, 4. So HRC 74. Simple as that. Drop it down, take the rest of the load off, and you're good to go. So again, spin, set the black dot, release. Now, is the test done? Do we know that the answer is 74? It is not. We need the conversion charts. We have a PDF of this, so you don't need to be in the lab to do this. But what we do is we say C scale. We observed a reading of 74, so I'll say 75. And this is a half inch diameter. So I add one half. So 74.5 would be, or 76. 75, excuse me, 74.5 or 75 
would be the reported reading. So you always have to add. Why is that? Because this is curved, so the braille doesn't make full contact like it does on flat. And the less the curvature, the smaller the correction. But you need to use the correction chart, and that is always done um, simply by looking on the charts. We have several here in the lab, and you have a PDF of it as well, so you're good to go. So now you know how to test round specimens using the Rockwell scales. This is the Rockwell end tester. This is a bit of a one-trick pony. It only does the end test. Um, and you use an end braille, as it's set in here. Uh, it has weights on the back of it, just like the um, old Rockwell uh, general tester. What makes this one different? Why do we have it? Well, it's a superficial tester. And again, superficial tests, you can do thin samples. Uh, let's take the saw blade. You don't want to be doing this on a Brunel tester, because of course it'll bend like that and be useless. You won't get a reading at all. So you use a superficial tester, and I'll show you that right now. So we'll put the blade in. <clears throat> Again, remember how we do these? We set our trigger for the preload. And we set the little arrow into the dot. We can adjust the large if we want to. There we go, on the zero, using the dial. It's all zeroed out. Hit the bar. And we have the full load on, so this is N45. And we can see we are N4578.